year project it should strike the incline plane normally that's one uh, how the trajectory of this it will strike here normally that, that was the condition given for us from point b i projected at at point a it will strike normally this is the theta okay what should be that horizontal speed of projection Let me pro proceed this one. This one important. Yeah, fine. Where do it will strike? It will strike at point A. There's a point of striking. from point p is projected at point a it will strike and let me take this is b okay this this uh, is going to help us a lot this one and now how, how to solve this it, it strikes normally i think that is enough to solve this problem so i'm going to resolve that initial velocity along the incline parallel incline let me resolve the even the aggression due to gravity also so the aggression due to gravity here will be g sine theta g cos theta what about the velocity? Velocity will be V naught. Okay, this is theta. This is 90. So this should be theta. This should be theta. So therefore, this will be component of velocity. Try to make observation of your teacher. What is doing first? In most of the inclined projectile problems, Resolve velocity along incline, perpendicular to incline. Then try to analyze a little bit easy for you. You can manage to some extent. Sine theta. Then, uh, so look at this ball. It, it is going to move in a parabolic path. So is this a parabola? Yes, it's a parabolic path. Then. Then, then the, the, it will move like this and strike here now. So when it is striking, it strikes normally. So tell me like what type of motion the ball will describe, the stone will describe along the incline. Initially, t equals zero. It was projected at t equals zero. After some time, it will come and strike here, no? So therefore, uh, what type of motion along the incline? V naught cos theta up the incline. G sin theta down the incline. So definitely it's a retarding motion. It's a, in fact, it's a retarding motion and it strikes normally at this particular point. I think this, this are something very, very important. Uh, Vishal, I don't have answer. I to uh, solve it and I to conclude because I just made theta 30 degrees now. Okay, now along the incline, let me write the equation. So along the incline, first of all, what is incline? This is an incline or, or if you are, parallel incline, perpendicular turn, along parallel direction. Now, uh, what is the equation we can write? Zero is equal to V naught cos theta minus G sine theta into T. So what is T equal to V naught cos theta by G sine theta? V naught, we don't know, cos theta root 3 by 2. This will be g by 2. <coughs> so root 3 V naught by g.
fine so there's a one one equation keep in mind okay then afterwards uh, like a, what is the displacement perpendicular to incline it should be pb along pa perpendicular this should be equal to pb equal to v naught sin theta plus t plus g cos theta t square by 2 v naught sin theta is acting along pb Look at g cos theta. It will act along the direction PB perpendicular to incline. No, these are so what type of motion perpendicular to incline? It will be accelerating motion, parallel to incline, retarding motion. Say what are these equations of motion along parallel to incline, perpendicular to incline? There's a very random way of analyzing these such problems. Almost I think 99% of numericals will be along the incline, parallel to incline, along the incline, parallel to incline, applying equations of motion. Only thing is the student must have a rough idea how the path will be, how the path will decide the velocity and acceleration. So like here it's a V naught and G. What do you expect? The path should be somewhere like this. Or else you should have a general idea that one. If you throw a stone, how do it move? But we don't know PB unnecessary. We brought it. Okay, let, let me take help of this triangle. Uh, sine uh, cos theta. Cos theta equal to PB by H. So PB equal to H cos theta. Triangle from triangle OPB. So PB equal to <coughs> H cos theta. Substituting this here. So substituting that uh, H cos theta equal to V naught sine theta, T is how much? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do one thing, yeah. Next, we'll, we'll substitute all the values and we'll see. H is, uh, this will be theta root three by two, V naught by two, uh, V naught by two, T is root three V naught uh, by G, G is 10, no? plus 10 by 2, this will be root 3 by 2, t square root 3 v naught by g. I, I think I'll, I'll do one thing. Here three root three v naught square one ten ten forty. Check once. <coughs> root three gets eliminated, one two gets eliminated, h is equal to v naught square will be outside. This will be one by ten. Three, okay, 40, two we took, no, 20. Anybody value final? Root five H, huh? Yes, sir. Root five H. Okay, this will be the root value. Or if you want to, you want to bring G, no? Yeah, if you want to, can I just, okay, let me write. If I give some H equal to some value, you may it's end up with answer. Two H, no, sir. Huh? It's a two root H, no, sir. No, final answer, tell me like I'll write it. Root 5H only? Root 5H only?
H value, some, some H equal 10, if you put it, no, 50 will come. So I'll, I'll give the H value also, 10 meter. Okay, let this be the answer. So again, 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 the, 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 the all, all things revolves around these, these things. Analyzing motion along the incline, perpendicular to incline. I think when it strikes normally, this idea is very important. When it strikes normally, the component of velocity along the incline must be zero. It is going to help us a lot in most of the numericals. Uh, it strikes normally means the problem is very easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making things safe. If it strikes normally means you can first find out the time of flight with that condition. Please do remember, this is very important in incline projectile. Rather than numericals, I suggest you like you just throw it with a certain speed and try to analyze, write equations along the incline, parallel to incline, just make a condition. L little bit, I think you'll get a confidence, then come back to numericals and start analyzing. Slowly you'll develop a methodology. Oh, this is what happens in incline projectile. Or oh, after that, everything you can manage very comfortably. Somewhere in mathematics, you have to take help of the, <coughs> the this, is a, this is a known thing. We assumed it, no? What is the known thing? H is a known thing. So how to eliminate PB with H? Again, you have to search some mathematics. Oh, sorry, instead of this, if I throw at an angle, S, yes, it will come and strike. It may not strike normally. Then you may put condition for it to strike normally. So either way, no. So I think a student slowly now you develop a method here. The problem is not at all. Again, again, there are so many ways I can ask you. I, I'll, I'll, sir, I'll throw you at an angle, say certain angle. Then the ball will come and collide the inclined plane. It may need not to collide normally. Can I solve the problem? Yes, you can solve. It's not that it should strike normally, no, it may strike like this. So can I solve the problem? With what speed it to strike the incline? Yes, you can solve it. But here, when it's striking now, now it is having V parallel, V perpendicular. You, you must draw all these things. These are very important. If you just write very neatly what all I have given, I, I don't think so. This sort of preparation will help you anywhere. I'm making things clear why some, uh, some of my students will not get a rank in JE advance. The reason for that is like, they're just only watching things. They're not analyzing on their own. So just mere watching, I don't think so. Anything, any benefit will be there. But sir, you, you said you are a very good teacher. Over, over teach. If you don't analyze it, how it is possible? These are not story, no, where you can just listen. Not root 5H, somebody is telling root 2H. Yes, sir, even I am getting root 2H. Yes, Me too, sure. 2H, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll do one thing, I'll simplify. I think all of, we all are using same as, I do doubt. It's 2 root H, sir. Mm, yeah. Root 2H, 1 plus 3 by 2. Five by two. Okay. There's the final yeah, answer. Mm, yeah. Uh, H given twenty, so two root ten meter per second. Okay, this will about answer. Yes. Oh, thank. I'm also very good in maths. Huh? This a bit. Mm, yeah. And now, now you see that one, yes, it can happen, no, like this. It's not that only this way, it, you may throw where it may not strike normally. Are you getting no notes solely? You make a very generalized thinking. I, I want students to really, uh, your, your notes, what happen along with the teacher's diagram. Some other, okay, student has to think, sir, I, I'll throw it from here. Okay, throw it. Then, then it will go strike, it will, it will pass here horizontally. 
can it happen sir yes it can happen i may ask you all that these are the ways of testing student no i'll throw it such that it's at a night then i'll it, it will it will pass here horizontally the velocity at this point will be horizontal it can happen i will take this color here so it is just simple so many ways no i think there's a nothing called okay there's no no limitation that you should ask here no 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 i may bring a problem like this so you you must gather the, the this this what you have to analyze here okay if i throw it like this can it go like this can it be in this condition can it be this condition as if you analyze that this one little bit some better portion uh, very neatly what all i have written on screen if you write down notes everything then uh, this last one put in box answer this you color it 